I spent a lot of my teen years and early 20s not actually really believing that I could do this. Going to auditions and people are saying no consistently. No, you're not good enough. You're not what we're looking for. You know, you've really got to have a thick skin in order to then make it. I think a lot of people get to a certain point, if they'd continued a little bit further, they potentially would have got to the point they wanted. My name is Ashton Miranda and I am a musical director and keyboard player currently on tour with Ed Sheeran on his Worldwide Stadium Mathematics Tour. I worked in a hairdresser's, I worked in a pub, I worked on a building site, I worked as like a PA helping people do filing and stuff and I'm so appreciative that I did all of that because it taught me different skills all the skill set that I think you need to be a really good musical director. Having someone that is patient, understanding and caring and somebody just really organised. You know, I worked nine to five, five days a week. The music industry was a closed circle of people and I was trying to get in but I didn't know who to call. I applied to an ad on Gumtree. An artist needed a musical director. I did it for free. I had no idea what I was doing. Kind of got a glimpse of how to put a track together, how to deal with musicians still whilst working at the hair salon. A friend of mine knew somebody that had a vocal agency in the industry and somebody had called in sick for The X Factor. It was like choir, TV mime kind of thing. This was the opening. This was the foot in the door that I've been looking for for such a long time. So I knew I had to turn up early, had to be polite, know my parts, know what to do. And then that was it, kind of went back to my normal life. I called up my agent and I said, Thank you so much for this work. I'm extremely grateful for everything you've done for me. However, I really don't feel like my strength lies in back and singing. Occasionally you get keyboard gigs and I'm not on your books as a keyboard player, but I feel within the deepest fibers of my body, this is what I'm meant to be doing. I didn't hear from her for about two months and I thought I'd annoyed her. I was like, damn, why have I done this? Finally got my foot in the door and I've ruined it by being big headed. And my phone rang got you a keyboard gig. I was like, brilliant, amazing, what is it? She's like, it's a Radio 1 Live Lounge. And I was like, who's the artist? She was like, Ed Sheeran. And then that was the moment that really changed the whole of my career. Suddenly people were now calling me from agencies. Can I get you for this? Can I get you for that? To be playing on the biggest tour with the world's biggest artist is just confirmation that all of the sacrifices I made throughout my life in terms of relationships, different types of work, not attending certain friends' weddings, which I'm gutted about, but I had to make sacrifices for my job. It just confirms that all of that was not wasted. Doing what I do now, I'm literally living the dream that I always dreamed of when I was a kid. I would visualize myself doing it, and now I live that dream every day, and I love it. And I would say to anyone, it doesn't matter if you're in music or not, whatever your dream is, visualize everything you want in your life. Repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. And the reason I say that is because I feel like if you have a clear vision of where you want to go, it will change the choices you make on a day-to-day -day basis. How you talk to certain people, whether you get up early and do that extra bit of prep. Don't just work on your craft, work on yourself. Be a better person, be a nice, pleasant person, be as positive as, as, as you possibly can. Just Breathe, take that space, and realize that you control every action that you do.